guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my previous two videos of this mannequin transformation. On today's video, I'll show you how I create and sew these arms for this mannequin. To create these two arms, I have used a size 12 um, standard size sleeve pattern and uh, basically it's just the sleeve pattern, sewed in the middle, stuffed with a wadding and each end I have closed with like a cardboard pattern which I covered with a fabric so it's nice and neat finish. On this end I have um, traced the pattern of my mannequin's armhole and I closed it that there so the wadding is not coming out and this tape I have sewed it in on the end of the armhole to pin it on the mannequin. These are materials and pattern pieces what I use to create mannequin arms. Now I will show you how I create pattern for mannequin arms. First I'm cutting sleeve pattern out of this white cotton lining fabric and top fabric out of this brown fabric. And I'm laying both layers together, lining and top fabric. Next, I'm tracing mannequin's armhole pattern. Now I'm cutting armhole pattern pieces out of the top brown fabric. I'm cutting two pieces out with the seam allowance and I'm cutting same piece out of the co cotton lining fabric, two pieces as well. Now I'm tracing the armhole pattern out of the cardboard and I'm cutting out two pieces, exactly the same pattern. Next I'm cutting wrist pattern, I'm cutting it out from the white lining cotton fabric and from brown top fabric with the seam allowance like that and two pattern pieces from the cardboard. Last pattern piece what I'm cutting is armhole pattern tape and it is approximately 25 centimeters by 5 centimeters and I'm cutting out two pieces like that. These are all my pattern pieces for mannequin arm making. Now I will show you how I sew mannequin arms. First I'm sewing both sleeve inside seams, attaching both layers together like that with a 1cm seam allowance on both sleeves. And now I'm pressing flat those both inside seams. Next I'm sewing on wrist buttons on a sleeve hem. I have sewed one wrist button already on one sleeve. Now I'm pinning on the other wrist button on a sleeve hem. And I will be sewing all around the edge of the sleeve. Both wrist buttons are sewed on a sleeve hems. Now I'm removing the pins and next I'm gluing the cardboard button pieces on the top of the wrist buttons. My sleeve hems are finished now with the wrist buttons sewed on on both sleeves. Now I'm turning the sleeves to the right side. And next I will be filling both sleeves with the wadding. I have filled one sleeve with the wadding, now I'm filling and stuffing the other sleeve with the wadding. After I have filled both sleeves with the wadding, next job is to sew the armhole pattern tapes. So I've sewed them in half and now I'm cutting those sharp corners off of each tape and ironing them flat. Next I'm sewing 5mm guttering seam on each sleeve top and I'm guttering both sleeve tops. Next I'm pinning the armhole tape on sleeve top 
armhole top pattern tapes are pinned on the sleeve top like that. Now I'm sewing those tapes on the sleeve tops. Both tapes are sewed on the sleeve tops. Next I will be sewing the armhole pattern. I'm hand stitching armhole pattern all around the edge and I'm pulling it tight and I'm adding that cardboard pattern piece inside and I'm pulling it quite tight so it's nice and smooth armhole pattern. Next I will be attaching the armhole pattern on a sleeve. I'm pinning the armhole pattern in a center point and I'm hand stitching that armhole pattern all around the sleeve hole. So I'm closing that sleeve hole so rodding is not coming out. And that is finished sleeve. And here is the result of my finished mannequin arms. I can pin them on whenever I like or I can remove them. They are detachable mannequin arms. Very easy to use and very flexible. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions how I made these arms, please do comment down below on the comment box.